headquarters gentlemen's club in Manhattan. I see. Uh, Dennis Rodman, of course, uh, just inducted into the <laughs> Basketball Hall of Fame. There he oh. is. There A he Hall is. Hall of Famer. <laughs> Looking good. Got a nice shirt, man. Where'd you get that shirt? Got I like it. Got a scarf. It. Oh, it's all good. Scarf. That's in. That's in. It's all Very... good, brother. <laughs> oh, man. And you are even carrying a man purse, which a hey, lot of people... Hey, about would... that, brother? It's all love. You know, down back, back in New York, you know... <clears throat> when did you start carrying a purse? I've been carrying one for a while. People make fun of me. I've been carrying purses, man, for... Let's see. Uh, since 1992. What do you keep in your purse, honestly? I mean, uh, I, 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 I... A little trinkets here and there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you have... What to, do you, you need know? during the day? <laughs> I keep... A uh, <laughs> little trinkets. <laughs> I keep <know>. tampons. <laughs> Makeup. Like, you know, all little lip gloss. Kind of you know. yeah. What do you got in there? You, you got your wallet. You got... Yeah. Uh, what you got? You keep a book. Do you keep a schedule mm, at all? Lighter. People, you know, when people think of Dennis Rodman, yeah, <laughs> they think of a guy who who is not organized. Oh hell no! <laughs> right. But you want to know oh. something? I was really surprised to read something about you. What's that? That when you were a young man and you were looking to get in the NBA, and, and and then you get in the NBA, you would spend hours on end watching videotapes of your opponents, and yeah. you would study where the ball would fall after they shot yeah. so that you could rebound. Yeah. Uh, you know, people think that you were sort of this guy who didn't give a shit, <laughs> who didn't work hard at basketball. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but here's a guy, how many times, how many hours a day would you spend watching videotape? It, 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 was, it depends on, uh, I started that when I was in uh, San Antonio, and um it just it just happened because it's more like okay great uh, when I left uh, Detroit, um, a lot of people want to see me fail. Right. They just see me fail. Like he ain't gonna, he's not going to not going to do anything with his life. You know he's uh, he's on the path of destruction. You know he had a gun to his head before. Yada yada. yada. I said okay great watch this. Yeah. So I went there and John Lucas came and got me uh, actually in Vegas. You know, I was out there just, you know, going, just going nuts. And uh, so it's like, then we went to San Diego. He said, Dennis, I want you to come play for me. I said, I agree. Uh, the first thing you can do for me, John, is one thing. Give me $175,000 to buy this boat. That's mm -hmm. the first thing that came out of my mouth right, right. there. So I said, buy this damn boat, okay? Right. So he did that, went to San Antonio. And he, he, was, he was actually shocked because the fact that since David Robbins was the Bible-bumping guy in San, uh, San Antonio, uh, and, and you got this guy, you know, with his yellow hair. Nobody expected you guys to work together. Nobody expected us to even so, clash. So the, the truth be told, you were pretty serious about basketball. The fact that you'd, start, you'd say to them, look, we're playing the Knicks tonight. Here's what I want. Give me a videotape of their last couple of games. I'm going to sit and watch it. And then what would you do? The ball, you would see the ball come <laughs> off the rim the way a guy would shoot. I would just, I would just, I would just watch, the, um, especially my uh, teammates, I watched what it uh, – uh, the angles of the floor, what, what he go and position himself to shoot the ball. Right. And I'll just sit there and watch it. We we'll just watch the path of the ball go to the rim. And most of the time, you can see it's going to be short, it's going to be long, it's going to just go straight up or come out to the side. Right. And stuff like that. And I just go go to the videotape and watch the opponents. And I said, wow, you know. So just, could you get to the point where when you were going to play a specific team and you yeah. were going to be watching some player shoot the ball, you could tell 99% of the time where the ball would land? Absolutely, pretty much. You know, like I said, I'm one of the biggest guys. I was like, like 200 pounds, right. six foot seven, whatever. And most of the guys were like six foot six, 250, 260 pounds. Right. A lot more stronger, but I was just more more focused. And uh, I, just, I just wanted to uh, prove to people, hey, I, I was deserved to be there. And plus, in San Antonio, that year we were 68 and 20, 68 and 24. Nobody knew that. <laughs> so if you if you were to advise a guy playing basketball today, and you said to him, "You want to be a great rebounder," you would tell him, "Study the tapes and learn where that ball is going to fall." You mean you can actually learn something like that? Oh, you, can, you can learn something like that, but it's just all the determination. It's just hard work because some, some, some of the guys today you see on TV are not really adamant about playing really hard every night and right. uh, it's like you know it's it's very difficult to ask any athlete today that's making 19 20 million dollars hey guy get your act together because you know what if not we're gonna cut your ass you can't do that today so do you think like, a lot of guys hold back because they don't want to get injured and like they say hey i'm making 20 million a year i don't want to get injured i'm not going to play that hard because if I get injured, I'm fucked. I, I can stay in the game longer. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, sometimes it pisses me to fuck off because th these guys, man, I mean, like, you know, they don't understand, you know, if you go back, say, the old football players back in the late 60s, early 70s, those guys didn't really have anything. 
I mean, they go out there and bust their ass for like paying us for, like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, and today they kind of fucked up. But it's <laughs> so whatever. I'm just sorry. Maybe maybe they're too rich. They, were, they weren't right. But maybe these guys are too. But maybe these guys are too rich. Like they're so right. rich, they start worrying about their health and everything. Yeah, they do, man. It's just it's just funny how society has really uh, progressed, and it's like wow. I mean, we are so conscious about hey the way we look. Uh, if my uh, if my uh, if my um, Tattoos look good now. Uh, is right. my hair look good? Because they're looking enough. for endorsements. But, well, no endorsement. Endorsement ain't worth the shit. I don't yeah. give a nickel for them, you know. So it's like, so it's like, <laughs> these guys, you know, most of the guys, you know, like, you know, Stoudemire is here in New York. Yeah. You know, he come in, he come in, he's, you know, it's a good guy, but it's just very difficult to come in and try to be the, the man. And you got Carmelo Anthony's here, stuff like that. And they really didn't really, I don't think they really clashed together the way people thought they would. Do you, do you go to the games? Do you, would you go, like, you're here in New York. Would you ever go to a Nick game? I went to the Nick game and uh, and Isaiah Thomas used to kiss my ass. I literally really? kissed my ass because you know he got, he kind of fucked me, man. You know because I first came to play with New York about seven eight years ago, and then when I went on, on the View, because uh, those those fucking bitches, man. God damn, they just talk the too, they talk too fucking much. <laughs> what <laughs> happened on the View? Too fucking much, man. Yeah, what happened at the View? No, just because I, I was sitting there like an asshole because I just came back from scores so and I was hung over. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to I was wishing I was wishing these people girls say, "Oh, hey, that's how you do it." No, they was right around me, so talking all this crap, and, uh, and, and I just said, "You know what, guys? Guess what? I'm gay as hell. You know what? I just I just had sex with this guy." Oh Lord, Dennis, <laughs> are you saying that the View? Killed your chances for playing for the Knicks. <laughs> oh, it's not, I think I killed my ch- chance for the Knicks. <laughs> oh, you killed your chance. You just were trying to shut him up. I was trying to <laughs> shut him up. Would you please shut up? So you told him you were gay, and then that was <laughs> it. No, it was right. it. Dude. I said the next day, oh, they threw up that ticket, and said we can't, we don't need you. I'm like, oh god. Why do you think you have the uh, reputation then for not working hard? Because you, I mean, this is a guy with tremendous focus. This is a guy who's saying, I'm going to study these goddamn tapes so I can figure out the trajectory of this ball and the rebound. Well, you know how a lot, lot of lot of guys, a lot, lot of people in, in in the world really looked at me like uh, Dennis uh, since I was in Chicago, right? And I was doing so many things on and off the court, and they said, "Wow, he's such a fucking shithead." He, I mean, he just don't give a damn. I said, "Wait a minute, I don't give a damn." I got two championship rings. Uh, I'm rebounding the ball like crazy. I'm in Chicago. I got three more championship rings. I was always there every day. No one bitch to complain about Dennis Schroeder. So I'm a shithead. And so why do you so, so why do you think you became the shithead? Because maybe because you played for like when you play for Chicago, they got to have a shithead. And after all, Michael Jordan's the hero, so they need a villain. No, I, well, it, was, it wasn't even that. I just think that it was it was the right time and the right moment. And it, I, I could have went to any other team besides Chicago, any right. other team, because I, I almost messed that up too. Because when I told you a long time ago, Phil Jackson called me in with Mike and Scott. He, he said, Dennis, would you like to come play for me? And I said, I really don't give a damn if I come here or not. And, mm-hmm. and Phil said, you're my guy. <laughs> he liked that. <laughs> like, he liked it. Because, you know, it's like if I see a guy that's going to go out there and play his ass up every night, I mean, day in, day out, I mean, give you 18, 19 rebounds a game, come on, man. That's what you want. But you were really shocked that they're inducting you, they're retiring your number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were moved to tears right. that, they were, they were, that they were retiring your number and that you are going to be in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Right, you you were moved to tears. Well, well I, was, I was just moved because of the fact that it, it wasn't that I was just I was emotionally shocked or emotionally like just distraught because I was that my numbers getting retired. It was just the fact I couldn't believe they was doing it and because you know I was I wasn't there significantly, you know, maybe the main focus of the team, but I was at the piece of the team. But I said, you know, I, I shouldn't be. You guys shouldn't be doing this for me because I, I I don't deserve this. Yeah, no, but explain that to me. Why don't you deserve to have your number retired? Well, I just look at it like, like it's like you, Howard. It's like you've been here for so long. You've probably been here like for fifty years, right? And, <laughs> and you probably had more sex than anybody in New York. That's right. And so, <laughs> look at you, look at you look bragging at up. Look at That's you right. bragging. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sex machine. <laughs> You're a sex machine. That's right. why your wife divorced you. <laughs> so, I kind of got to like you, Howard. <laughs> she had a lot of reasons. I don't think that was one of them. I know, right? Right. Well, anyway, no. Uh, um, it was a shock to you because you, I think people have brainwashed even you. Everyone kept saying, Dennis didn't work that hard. Dennis was just a rebounder. Dennis was this and that. All of a sudden, I, I think you, you, you became th- a guy who had his chip on his shoulder who said, you know, no one appreciates me. And here they're, they're showing you all this love. I think it really rocked you. Well, it, 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 was, it was just funny. But then, plus, when I went back there, I haven't been back there in so long. And I saw some of the people that, that really really actually cared about Dennis Rodman. I saw uh, the Davidsons. Um, I saw uh, Randy um, and 
and his family. I saw Janopolis. Uh, the people right there really cared about me, that I was with all the damn time, and some of the people on the Pistons, you know, and uh, those guys really, uh, really, uh, really showed me, showed me some love, but I just couldn't believe it that you see, uh, you see Joe Dumars, you see Isaiah Thomas, you see Rick Mahorn, you see John Sally, you see Vinny Johnson, right. and you see all the other guys that was on the team. Uh, it, it's just... It's like that you're looking for the Raptors. There's only nine players up there. Right. And John Sally said, wow, why didn't you get your number retired? I haven't got my number retired. I said, well, you went with the shit. So you can see now that people do appreciate you and love you. I think it's really moving to you. You were rocked. I'm going to play the clip now of you finding out the news here. You always, you always get Here it is. Here's Dennis Rodman. Here's an emotional. Here is an emotional Dennis Rodman, and I and I'm moved by this. No, you're not. Alex. Yes, I am. All right, now I'm not. You're right. I'm not. Like I said, it's surprised to me that my number is getting retired. It's surprising to me because I, I just feel like there's you know, a lot of. Um, <laughs> Even you're laughing. Look yeah, at you. <laughs> Don't want to go through this hour. <laughs> listen to you. You can't even get the words out. You can't out. listen to I it. No, no, I want to do this. Uh, I just feel like um, it's just um. I just, I just feel like I didn't do too, I didn't deserve to have my number retired because I didn't do as much as I should have. You say, I didn't deserve to have my number retired because I didn't do as much as I should have. No. You really believe that? I believe that. You could have worked harder in the NBA. No, it wasn't working harder. I think I should have been there a lot longer than I was. I mean, I think my, my whole time there, I think I probably four years was very significant for that organization. That's right. the reason I was saying that because I said I could have been there at least 10, 11, 12 years, but it didn't work out that way. And uh, I said, you know, for my number to get retired, I kept trying to go back and forth. Why are these guys doing this to me? Because I was only here for like, six years. You're feeling regrets that you didn't put in. You could have had a longer lasting career because you could have stayed in better shape. You could have taken it. You could have been more focused and you could have had a longer career. Well, it wasn't a shape, Howard. I was in great shape. I was in great shape to, uh, to be at that age at 31 years old. I was in great shape. Do I you mean, think you didn't appreciate the NBA? Do you think at the time you were just too young, too naive to really appreciate what you had? No, I was, I was, I was, a, I was a dumbass coming in because I was 25 years old living in Oklahoma with the, with the richest, you know, and you know, I went from the ghetto to being a, this smart ass, almost a drug dealer or a pimp or whatever, to becoming this country bumpkin in, in like a couple of years. And when I come to the NBA, I don't know what the hell is going on. All I do, all I want to do is play basketball. Right. And once I got there, I said I was like really so at odds. I say, like, wow, what, what I should do now? Yada yada yada. I used to be a scorer, rebounder. Now I have to come in here and try to adjust my game and try to fit in. And I almost didn't make the team. And right. it's like, wow, it's a kid, great, cool, man, you know. So I started playing defense, started working my ass off every day in practice. And and and, Phil, and um, Chuck Daly, bless his soul, he died a couple of years ago. And uh, uh, it, that was really, that was really, really um, got me uh, really emotional because when I was at the when I was at the press conference at the uh, um, retirement number. I actually had a shirt with Bill Davidson and, and Chuck Daly with their faces on. I showed the whole crowd it because they, they should be here with this, and they wasn't here, so I just put their faces on T-shirt. You're an emotional man. Well, I just but you get but you get embarrassed by that. You can barely <laughs> listen to yourself crying. I can't, I, I, I can't even do that. It's like, I don't know about you, Howard. I can't even see myself, you know, on TV because you know a lot, a lot of actors and actresses like that, they they hate to see themselves on TV. Why like, you hate what you see? No, it's, it's not hate what you see. It's just it's, it's hard because some, most of the time for me is I can't believe it. You can't I, believe what? I can't believe that I'm a, a star. That you're on TV. I, I, I Who to, is Dennis Rodman? <laughs> right. That's what's happening with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> plus, at 50 years old, come on. People, <laughs> people wouldn't even imagine I'm making at 45. You said something <laughs> mind-blowing to me. I, I got to ask you about this. Here, I'm going to read you the quote. This is a quote from Dennis on his kids seeing his highlight reel at the number retirement ceremony. You said, my kids have never seen me play, not even on videos. This will probably be the first time they see a video of their father actually, you know, doing something positive in his life. Oh. <laughs> That's sad, right? Well, it's, it's sad, but I, I just speak from the heart because it's like 
when you when you when you when you got kids that young and that, when you you got kids right how right, I'm pretty sure. sure I'm pretty sure your kids had a look got some flack back in the day you know, absolutely when they going because you know they want to they want to throw these little daggers at you and say well your dad is a piece of shit you know he always talk about this it's my like, kids got all kinds of shit yeah, yeah. And plus my kids do the same thing plus being in the NBA and when I dress in you know and and women's clothes and lingerie or dresses or makeup and stuff like that at you know four or five years old, that don't fit too well with, with kids because they, they remember everything. And they don't forget nothing. Do you and, wish there were things that you didn't do in the past because it does, your kids now have to live with that? No, I think they actually accept it <laughs> because they, they are so smart. They can do the computers now. They can yeah. do all this other... Uh, uh, but do your kids stuff. ever sit you down and say, Dad, why did you do that? It embarrasses us because they, they bring it up to me in school. No, they they they, they rate a on it very, very well. The mother, um, Michelle Rodman, she... Uh, She's actually got those kids on, on, on point. She got them on point. And plus, they just, it, it just love because I think now people are looking at me now since, since a lot, all these accolations are coming with the number retired. And plus, people say, wow, your dad's in the Hall of Fame. They can't go back and say, well, your dad's in the Hall of Fame because he's a fag. Or right. he, he's a homo. He's just no. Wait a minute, hold on. You don't put people in the Hall of Fame for that. By the way, <laughs> so, are you married now? I mean, I can never. Your situation <laughs> is so fucking complicated. I know you have a wife, but you fuck whoever you want. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, come on. Let's be honest. I I mean, oh, what, I mean what, what's going on with that, you? That's a weird relationship, bro. Yeah. That's so weird. I think, I think Everything is weird, man. <laughs> Everything, it's so weird. I can, I can say these things. I can say these, these things. Like, here, I can say the Hall of Fame. I do this, 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 this. And then I come back to this right here. It's like, wow. Yeah. God, it's like. Are this. you married? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Well, You're not living with your wife, though? I don't I haven't lived with my wife in 10 years. Right. And you're getting along. Are you talking to one another? I just took them to uh, uh, my, my son's birthday was last week and my wife's birthday was last week. And um, I took them to uh, Orlando. Yeah, $23,000 later. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait a minute. It's like, wow. 23 Gs. Yeah, but the Pistons paid most of it. Right. So Why said, did they pay most of it? Because the, of the... Uh, the number of retires to... You know, right. I took them down. They wanted me to go to France. I'm like, my kids can't even speak French. <laughs> <laughs> they can't speak French. So, do you and your wife ever have sex, or is that, like, completely over? Well, it depends on how you look at it. How do you no, look at it? it's how you do it. What do you do? <laughs> it depends how you look at it. You know, it depends on how many, how you know, are you having common cause or you ain't nobody? I don't know. Are you, <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you had sex with her at any time recently? Uh, well, no. 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 I, I mean, like I said, it, You're not into that's, it? That, that's not the problem. That well, old man her. That's not the problem at all. Seems it's like just, a problem to me. If you're married, you're not that's, that's, that's not the problem at all. Like I said, for me, it's more, more important my kids have a good time understanding, you know, because I ain't got that long to live, you know, probably 25 years or 30 years left. Right. And uh, I just want them to have a good time and hope that that... Uh, Hopefully down the road I can be a good dad because, you know, I haven't been a good dad. I can tell you, I said that in, in the press conference. I ain't been a good dad. Hell no. I've been Dennis Rodman, the playboy, yada, yada, yada. Yep. Hell yes. You've and, been anything uh, but a dad. I've been there pretty much. I right. can't deny that one. But, right. you know, but it, it's amazing how kids persevere and always look past a lot of shit. Right. And it's well, it's wanna... a shame wives don't, right? <laughs> 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 if that's wives can be more like the kids. <laughs> that's that's, funny. Funny. So that's amazing how kids look at the wild. But that's right. my dad no matter what. He's a cool guy, man, no matter what. He's he going to be there for us in the end. Right. So, so right now, with you going into the Hall of Fame, with you having your number retired, I think you're starting to see that people care about you. And I think this has moved you. And I think that you're, you know, you're, you're becoming a different guy in a sense. And you're, you're turning 50. 50 <laughs> fucking years old. Okay. How'd that happen? Did you well, ever think? Well, do you imagine you be 50 years old? I'm Howard. 57. I know I'm just saying, you imagine, you know, doing all these, 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 these many years on, on the radio, living in New York, having kids, being married, and doing what you do on radio, especially, you know, all the things you used to do in your old show, and you had all the women, the women saw they tits, you popping donuts in their whatever. The vaginas. The vaginas. You throwing, you throwing hot dogs down the hallway. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. That's and, right. and your wife let you get away with that. Well, that's that, right. that is amazing. Are you married? How, that how many is. years? Like 20 some years? Yeah, that's right. Why? She let you get away with that. And not too many guys in this planet can ever say that. Yeah, we used to have girls riding the Sibian. Uh, <laughs> yeah. not too long you ago. deserve <laughs> to be in the marriage hall of fame. That's right. That's right. So, 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 your life now at 50. Now you're doing this, uh, you're going to the strip club to celebrate. Here, I'll give you a plug. For more information well, on Dennis, where you celebrate a 50 Dennis right? Robbins' birthday party tonight, tonight at headquarters. I, is this something that you still enjoy? Do you still enjoy going to the strip club and doing this thing? Or is this just your, your way of making money at this point? 
No, it's not even about the money. Um, Big John, he's a great friend of mine. You know, Big I know John's Big John. He's a great John. guy. He's a great guy. He's a wild fucker, man. Yeah, he is you wild. Know, <laughs> you know, so, so, <laughs> Makes you look tame. I know, yeah, you're right about that. Right. No, I, I just love being there because it, it's just, you know, I know a lot of guys there. I know the industry very well. And plus, when you go to a strip club, especially if you're famous, People don't really fuck with you. They don't, even, they don't mess with you as much, when, especially when you go to a nightclub or right. a, a lounge or a restaurant. Do you think you'll get laid tonight? Huh? Do you think you'll get laid tonight <laughs> at the strip club? Well, you got to ask my agent, Darren Prince. He's back there. The Jew <laughs> yeah. back there. He's back there. He said, Darren Prince, Steve, Steve, you know, you got Elkin back there. You got everybody's back there. You, you even got that other little, little thing over there. What's the name? Jewels. Jewels? <laughs> she was back there, so it's all good. Jew or Jewel? Jewels. Jewel. Oh, okay, you know, right. Listen. So, I so. I some other stuff going on, too, Howard. You no, know? you got other things going on. Yeah, I, I got understand. other stuff going on, yeah. You, um, you, are you doing any more reality shows? Uh, no, not really. I'm just doing a lot of stuff around the world, just going to do some, you know. Some at 50, at 50, are you still fucking as much as you used to? <laughs> Seriously. I, you know, I would love to say yes, but, um, you know, I, I might call it a fifth on that one, but... Yeah, I can, I can say yeah. I'm, 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 I'm still qualified. Do they still line up the way they used to? <laughs> they used to line up like oh, no, crazy. Well, now you know it's amazing. I think I'm more famous now. Uh -huh. I, keep, I keep saying every time I come here, I said well, I'm more famous now than I was before. From doing really? the reality, is that important to you? You want to keep your fame going? I right? really don't give a shit about the fame. You know, like I said, I just love being around people, just having a good time. You know, just going to enjoy myself in Nobu with you. I mean, you and, are you know, a legendary coxman. You, <laughs> you, yeah, you. I mean, listen, you're the man. You're, you, we <laughs> talk about you at least once a month about. With, Carmen Electra, when, they, when you were caught fucking in a bed with <laughs> Carmen Electra, and, and she and she asked you, who is this girl? And you said, I don't see a girl. And then you, and then you said she fell out of the ceiling. Oh, dude, it's funny. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. You know, it's amazing. I haven't seen that girl in a long time. Well, I hear she's engaged again. She doesn't she's have, engaged? Yeah, she didn't have much luck in love, though. I tell you, she got divorced <laughs> wow. from that other guy and right, this yeah. one and that one, you know. Hey, man, Here's a guy, Carmen Electra, Madonna, Queen Elizabeth. You fucked them all. I mean, you've Queen had them Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. That's right. Elizabeth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I, boy, I tell you one thing, dude. Boy. Was You've she had, good? Yeah. <laughs> You've had some sex. In fact, the last time you were here, you said you fucked a mother and a daughter at the same time. I sure did. Yeah. Sure, at even, the same time. Well, at the well, same I, I time. I wouldn't say the same time. I would say more like, you know, one went in the other room and had a cocktail. The other one came in and had a cocktail. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that not the greatest? <laughs> so just, so it's, 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 it's Is that true. a greater accomplishment it's than just, getting your number retired in the <laughs> And plus, still get you to retire and plus go to Hall of Fame. You know, all that crap, dude. What do you think it is with these women? Do they want to just fuck you to, to tell their friends we fucked Dennis Rodman or do, do you think they care for you at all? Dude, I, 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 would, I don't know about you, dude. I mean, seriously, now, it's, it's more dangerous now because these, these video cameras, man, these, these phones, man, it is... Right. It, I mean, these girls are actually doing these little cheap things like, okay, great, he grabbed me, so I want to sue him. I'm like, wait, what the hell is that? Oh, I know you've had, you've been a victim I've, of I've that. been a victim of that many and you, times. And you were clear. I was clear. I, said, well, I grabbed you because of why you asked him to take a picture with you. I hugged you. Right. So the body, bro. You got to be real careful. Are you more careful now? Do you actually kind of? I don't, I don't do anything with women. All I do is go smoke my cigars. Speaking of, I got a cigar line coming out. Okay. So, so uh, yeah, I just go smoke my cigars, sit down, have a good time in Miami Beach. Hey, enjoy the sun, brother. No more fucking a mother and daughter? Well, no. I mean, you know, like if I was single, dude, seriously, I could do anything I want to. I said, if that's. But you are like, single. I mean, you're. Well, I'm just saying, if I was actually really, really single, I mean, just actually <laughs> single, without no paperwork and all that stuff like right. that. Your marriage is I, still like, present. Like, yeah. I, like, I, like I said, if I could be like Jerry Buzz, I could be just like, uh, um, uh, what's his name? The Playboy guy. Uh, A Rod? <laughs> Whatever. No, no. Hefner? Are you talking about Hefner? Hefner. 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 Oh. If, I could be like him, if I could be like him and have like six, seven girls in the house and then you could do anything you want. But I, I, I guess every guy's dream to have that. Well, at least why, once. why can't you get that going? I mean, you do kind well, of I, have I, that. I, I, want to, very frankly, I, I used to want it that because I, would, I was going to do that in Newport Beach. Uh -huh. I said, if I would never got married, I would have got a big house, had about four or five girls living in the house all like half. When's the last time you had sex? I mean, you're making it sound like you're oh, a nun. Oh, he didn't say he was yeah. abstaining. Right, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just... Did you have sex last night? No. Nah. No? Nah, really? Nah. You slept alone last night? Yeah, did, did you? Uh, no, my wife was with me. Oh, you got a, oh that's why you're still married. I'm still married. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, like like last week, did you get laid or like you kind of just like... Uh, well, last week, yeah, I got laid quite a few times. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You know? <laughs> why not? I don't know. Why not? I can't, I can't, like I said, dude, I mean, that's, I, that's why a lot of people like me, because I'll, I'll be honest with you, shit. Yeah. When you said you... Is um, it different women or the same woman? 
Oh, different. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be. Who fucks the same you know, woman? It's, no, a, it's, 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 it's amazing <laughs> to me. It, what's amazing to me is that while most, like, you must admire Charlie Sheen because he's got oh. the two women living with him. Well, then one leave. One left. All right, right but he had left. the two. So you like that. You like a group scene where they, these women are all devoted to you, like Geisha Girls. Well, no, I know, you know what? You'd I, like I, a harem. Well, yeah. I've been, I've been, you know, hanging out with this girl, Gina. So, you know, Gigi. So it's like, it's all good. I, you know, we we have a good time with each other. But uh, Gigi, isn't that one from the past? Gigi, the stripper. No, 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 different no, one. You, you talking about somebody else? Okay. <laughs> so, but I'm just saying. But um, <laughs> I, I was with Charlie Sheen a week ago. Yeah. Now oh, what's going? Now, while well, most celebrities are distancing themselves from Charlie Sheen, there's nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with him. You yeah. say there's nothing wrong with Charlie Sheen. You know, you know what play this though. It's amazed that you know if you go to Hollywood, right? And it, it tripped me out when I, I was at uh, at the um, at the Roosevelt right across the street from the uh, Chinese Theater. Right. I walked across the street and I, I was just just doing uh, CVS. I looked down and said, "Oh my God! Oh my God! Damn! This fucker got a goddamn star." Who got a star? Charlie Sheen. Yeah, but wait a second. I was like, wait a minute. I said, what the hell has she done in Hollywood that give her a fucking star? I said, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see. What's big down? No, no, I said, oh, I got it. His dad. No, he's and done a lot of big movies. No, no, no. Wall Street. Well, I don't know, I know Wall Street. Somebody's saying there were damn. Platoons. <laughs> he had a big career. Wait, oh, no. Dennis, what were you doing with Charlie Sheen? Like I said, you went on stage with him, right? You I'm went sorry. to one of his shows. One of his shows, yeah. The, uh, from what I get, the shows are not doing well in the sense that people are booing and walking out. Was the show an <laughs> embarrassment? It, 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 Charlie Sheen is a TV actor. Right. And he he just goes on stage and sit down and answer questions and... And talks about his life, and they're like, well, it, it's 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 you know, it's it's all right, it's all right, show, but it's like he don't, <laughs> he, he really don't give a shit. He just he's taking the money and run. Is that what you think he's doing? I don't know what he's doing. I, you know, he but, doesn't appear to be putting energy into the show. You're saying no, because he's not a comedian. And right he, now, he's, he's bringing people on stage now, like real famous comedians, to mm. go and embarrass, you know, like do like a roast now, right, like, on every show now. So he's trying to save the show. So while yeah. you're maybe hang- the last show will be a really good show because yeah. he's working. On- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you end up? So, so your assessment is you hung out with Charlie Sheen. You right. even participated in one of his shows. Right. You walk out on stage, and what do you do at this show? No, I just go out there. Just he go out there and you get a comedian out there to talk shit about you. I go in. Talked stuff about how uh, about Charlie and that's was, it. It was, it, it was uh, it, in the beginning. It's tough because it's right. like, wow, where are you going with this? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's no substance in the beginning. Then it's just all warming up a little bit. Then he'll bring some comedians on the stage, some real famous comedians. So you stuff. were embarrassed by the show? You didn't I, like I, I, it? No, I, because what I did wasn't embarrassed. I was like, wow, let's see, this guy's worth almost four hundred million dollars. Right. He really don't give a damn. Right. That's what I was like. It, I said, like, "Damn, this guy." Is- but you even think that when you go up on stage, you should have a, an act, or you should have some some creativity with it. I mean, right. so, you, so do you condemn him for that? Do you do you do you say, "Hey, Charlie, you should you should give a shit. You should go up there and give the fans something of a show." I mean, especially when you're at the uh, radio uh, station, music hall, right? Right. Music hall. I mean, he was he was there. I did mean, he, did he pay you to be on the show? No, nah, I just walked up there, man, because I, I was in the audience, and he just asked me to come up there, so I just went oh. up. Why were you in the audience? Were you just curious to see what the hell he was doing? I just wanted to just see the shows, because I first saw it in uh, Chicago, but I was in, he, uh, I think he, no, I was in Detroit. We were supposed to do a party together, but... Were you bored yeah. out of your skull at the show? Is that what you're saying? No, I just went up there, he asked me to do it. I said, okay, great, cool. I'd go up there and do it, because... But when you it, sat in the audience, was it boring? It's, it's like saying, it's like telling... It's like saying to John Holmes, hey, John Holmes, I want you to meet this other porn star. Wait a minute, hold on. We do the same shit. Right. And uh, so it's like, okay, you go hear the same shit come out of his mouth. I said, I'm my damn mouth. You right. know, and what I do in my life is like, okay, great, cool. You know, so. Well, so. it sounds to me like you're being critical of Charlie Sheen. You're saying his show is not good and that he should put more energy into it and that he's not really prepared. Well, like I guess he's not a comedian. He's a, he's a very very talented actor on TV. Right. And uh, when he comes out, you know, he's acts like yeah, he looks very straight. You know, very straight. He don't look all like he you know, he comes out with you know, I'm a heroin addict. And he don't look like that. He's a very. But when you say he doesn't have a problem, he does have a problem. He just self destructed. He just he lost a TV show that was paying him I don't know some ridiculous amount of money. He he's self destructive, isn't he? No. 
No. No. No. Because, you know, a lot of people like, you know, me and Charlie, stuff like that. People thought I was self-destructive about five, six years ago. Said, Dennis is going to ruin his life. He's going to do this and do right. that. And yada, yada. And then next thing you know, you end up proving people wrong. Like like, you know, like most people do. They they get their act together. They may go to rehab. may do something that's going to change their inhibitions about things in life. So I say, hey, <laughs> that's why I'm 50 sitting here talking to you. After you were on Celebrity Rehab, Dr. Drew said to you, point blank, do not drink. We see evidence of brain damage, blah, 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 blah. He gave you the prescription for what you had to do. You are still drinking, though, right? Well, for like this, Dr. Well, you know, I don't hate Dr. Drew, right. cause I, but I've, I was with Dr. Drew for like six, seven weeks. And he is, you know, Dr. Drew is a cool, cool guy off off the camera because he's doing this for just for the show. Because I said, I don't know about you guys, seriously, people in the world here. I said, I don't know how the hell you're going to cure anybody on TV in 19 days. Right. <laughs> in 19 days. Especially, especially say, okay, great. I'm going to get off OxyCon. I'm going to get off uh, this prescription. Drug. I'm going to get off this. And guess what, though? But the first two weeks you're on the show, we want you to sleep, throw up, and come out there like a piece of shit. So you <laughs> so, feel, it's, so, you so, feel so, Dr. Like Drew is irresponsible. No, no, Dr. Drew is the biggest narcissist in the world. Everybody <laughs> knows that. Everybody knows that. You feel yeah. he's irresponsible. There's no way you can give someone proper treatment in 19 yeah, days on television. There's, there's no way in hell. I don't right. give a fuck, fuck how you look at it. He said, you got, you got this but Bingo. what about what he says? He says, you should stop drinking. I'm a doctor. I'm a medical doctor. I know that Dennis Rodman should stop drinking. You will not do it. Well, well play it there, too. Like I said, if I'm going to stop drinking, I even said on the show, I said, I'm, I'm going to drink no matter what. I said, if I'm going to stop drinking, I'm going to stop drinking. I said, I've done it before twice, and guess what? It was very successful, and guess what? My manager, Darren Prince, said, okay, great. You know what? You stop drinking, Dennis, you know what? You're going to get a lot more opportunities, a lot more uh, things going to come to you. So I stopped drinking one time, and Darren, I told Darren, I said, Darren, watch this. I stopped drinking for like 19 months, right? 19 months. And between those 19 months, between like the eight, nine month period, which I was cool then. I was cool right. smoking cigars, doing my little thing in my restaurant, stuff like that. I said, so this fucking rehab shit is really working, huh? I haven't got a job in nine months. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's looking for a sober Dennis Rodman. What uh, Dr. Drew? I got a job in nine fucking months. <laughs> Dennis, what, what Dr. Shit. Dennis, what Dr. Oh, so you, you, in other words, people expect you to be drunk. No, people expect to see the, the old Dennis Rodman, the real party guy, just go out there, yada, 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 rah, rah, rah. They, guys, they, don't, want like a, they don't want a boring Dennis they, Rodman. They, they didn't want me to come in and sit down and, and you know, have a cigar and, and have a Coca-Cola. They want to see the rock. I, mean, I said, I can still do that stuff like that. But it's, it's more, it's different when I haven't any. Um, Could you have faked drinking, like being drunk? Could you have faked it a little bit? Or no, a little I think bit? people know when I'm out there doing my job, man. I think right. having a good time. You know, Your job is having a good time with these people. Having a good time. So it's, uh, What Dr. Drew does, is it immoral? I think it's, I think it's, I think it's, it's insane. Because it's like, I mean, I, I was there, you know, it, 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 it kind of hurt me a little bit to see these people when you got to give these people drugs to keep them drugged up and then try to get them off drugs, try to win them off on these other drugs. It's like, wait a minute, I don't know how you guys do this. Hey, you Dennis, know? did you hear what Ditka said that you do not deserve to be? I, he didn't say you didn't deserve not to be in that. Well, here's what he said. He goes, uh, did you hear any of this? I haven't heard anything. Uh, Coach uh, Ditka. He's in football. He doesn't yeah, know anything but about he basketball. But uh, he was commenting on Dennis being inducted to the Hall of Fame over NBA player Reggie Miller. Now, oh. first of all, my point is, what does Reggie Miller have to do with Dennis Rodman? Right. They were both great players. And But, um, but, but Dennis a, doesn't vote. It's not no. his fault. Reggie Miller was a good all-around player. You take the gown away from the other guy, and he's just another player. But Rodman played on championship teams, and he played with great players. Maybe that's why they put you in there. I don't know. It's a put-down. Why does he have to piss on you about you being inducted into the Hall of Fame? You are. There is, it's, un, it's, it's clear you're a great player. Well, I, I, Dillis, though, I wasn't, I wasn't put on these teams. Right. I wasn't put on I got drafted by the Pistons. We just was a great team all around together. Right. Then after that, I went to San Antonio. We was a great team. I wasn't put on that team. They, they traded me to San well, Antonio. Maybe the reason the team was great is because you were there. I, I went to San Antonio, and guess what? I didn't ask them to trade me to Chicago. When, when, when a guy like Chicago. why is a guy a fellow ath, uh, you know a fellow guy in athletics uh, Dick why does he have to fucking put you down well you know Dick is on TV and this 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 like I said I know Dick and you know I don't know if he's frustrated because he has too many operations on his fucking hip right you know, so, you know, so he can't barely walk and shit like that that's true I, mean, I don't give a damn about right. that but you know but he's a good guy but you know maybe he wish he was uh, maybe 25 years younger today and that way he can sit there and focus on what's going on today
day instead of being 60, 70 fucking years old and bitching. Leon Spinks is on the phone, wants to say hi to Dennis Rodman. Dennis no. Rodman's, no. Dennis Rodman's <laughs> birthday yeah, party tonight at headquarters, here. Gentlemen's Club in Manhattan. <laughs> Go to DennisRodman.com. Leon, hi. You're on the air with Dennis. Well, I, I, well, I had to take it myself, so I had to get by the best way I can. Uh, Dennis, how do you respond to that? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Leon, could you repeat that? Yeah. No, I went on gang. We, we had a job and whatnot. And I went in the service and whatnot. So. <laughs> all right. Well, let me tell you something. You can say that all you want, but uh, I'm not no, going to agree with it. No, I went on it. gang. We, we had a job and whatnot. And I went in the service and whatnot. So. All right. Okay. All right. I've been doing pretty good outside of them. I know you're doing well. I want my opportunity to get into the Olympics. How do you feel about Dennis Robin getting into the Hall of Fame? I had a guy that about getting top ten. Yeah, it is a top team, and uh, he yeah. deserves it. I, I'll tell you how. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I'm glad you understand. Uh, <laughs> They're having a great conversation. I know the right. <laughs> hey, at least this doesn't happen from basketball. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dennis, anything you want to say to uh, Mr. Spinks before I uh, move on? <laughs> hey, Leon, if it's really you, bro, what's up? Well, I try to do my best. Yeah. I try to do your best. I saw your brother uh, a couple months ago and uh, at my friend's house, and right. uh, yeah, he, he lives in Connecticut, right now, Connecticut, or Delaware. He be, be, be my own sister. What? He <laughs> <laughs> be, be, be my own sister. Uh, Leon's really ghetto, man. He knows how to get down. I'm telling you. I that. know, but it's like I got the guy back there, Elkin back there. He can tell you more about <laughs> Leon. <laughs> I, well, we just want to know how your brother's doing. That's all. I don't want to walk around and say I'm a virgin, man. Come on. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of got to be Mr. <laughs> Mr. Spinks, uh, thank you so much. You are great. You are... Uh, sorry, Leon? I can buy the best way I can. Yeah. Well, everyone's trying to get by the best way they can. That's for Call sure. What? No, Carl Green. Absolutely. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> "He said he wishes Dennis the best." Oh, uh, yeah, Jesus Christ! I'm my wife come back home. Okay, yes. all right. <laughs> he said you're your wife. What did he just say? What did you say? I'm <laughs> my, my wife come back home. All right. Okay. May, may your wife come. Did he say, may my wife come fuck you? Oh, maybe say, that's what he said. You want to fuck his wife? I don't know. If, that's what he said. That's what he said. You want to? You want Dennis to fuck your oh, wife? You gotta be, gotta, Cobb, you gotta be oh, kidding me. Do, do, Leon, you, Mr. Spinks, you, you want Dennis to fuck your wife? Oh, that's I don't want to walk around and say I'm a virgin, man. Come on. I know you're not a virgin, but I'm. All right. No, I, know the, I know you're kidding around. I know. I know, right? All right. Take care. All right. I'll see you. I don't like him. Don King, how do you feel about Don King? He's, he's well, I didn't really, I didn't, I really didn't get to. <laughs> all right. Well, I I, listen, really I don't want to take away from Dennis. Dennis. Okay, yeah. thank you. All right. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's Leo. Hey, Leo speaks. I know it's not. Cause that, that don't even sound like that. That's ridiculous. God, I'm I understand, though. I uh, shit, can't talk for shit. Let me tell you something. That boxing <laughs> will rattle your head, right, man. Oh, my God. You got, you got Holyfield still fighting. I don't know why. Right. Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's sad, that's right? That's sad, bro. You think he that's, needs the money? I don't think, it, well, he had a shitload back a long time ago when he was like a preacher. Now, I don't know. Are you smarter than a lot of athletes in the sense that you, you man, you held on to your money, right? I mean, you got well, money. I, like I said, I'll never be broke. I always say I'll never be broke. I don't need to go out and, like I said, you're going to be famous the rest of your life. I'm going to be famous the rest of my life. I can go make money anytime I want to. Right. Uh, I don't need to be a corporate guy to go make money, but a lot of people seem to say, okay, Dennis Rodman, he has to be in the public. I don't really need to be in the public side. I don't need to go dancing with the stars. I don't need to go dancing with the stars. Have they asked you to do dancing with the stars? Would you do dancing with the stars? No. I was the first athlete they asked. Really? And you said athlete. no. I said no. I said, well, how, how more famous can I get? Right. Well, I mean, it's I'm also, just, I'm just, I'm just saying, who gives a shit about can how, you dance? If I can dance or not. You know, I don't give a dance about dancing in, in front of TV <laughs> with this old leotard stuff like that. So I can do that easy by myself. Have you, when you were focused on basketball, it was a great passion. It was the focus of your life. True. Uh, do you, what is your focus now? Is it pussy? <laughs> Seriously, I mean, what is your focus now? What is your passion? What is the thing you are most passionate about? Well, you know, you know, I got I, I, so. Um, to being 50 years pussy. old, I'm, uh, yeah, come on now. Come on, come on. Vagina dumb. pussy. Is vagina pussy? Or, vagina uh, pussy. I know some people around me, boy, they love to have a lot of pussy. But seriously, Dennis, how do you replace, how do you, does your life feel? There's a couple in that green room, boy, who love to have a lot of, you know. Dennis, do, do, when you have a passion like that, it takes up your, your entire brain. 
put Now that you don't have that anymore, I'm saying. Where do you put it? Where, where, where do, do you put, put all it? that like, energy? Like, what's your day like? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Come on, Robin. Come on. You're a woman. Come on. Now. Do you think about that other thing? You know. What, cock? Yeah, cock. Cock a doodle doo. Hey, uh, hey, what but, do you Hey, but. Robin, I got to interrupt. Joe Frazier is on the phone. Joe Frazier. Yeah, 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 wants to say hi to Dennis. The boxers are calling. Well, I think he wants to compliment Dennis on his retiring his number. Go ahead, Mr. Frazier. Great to speak to you. How you going, there, man? All right, uh, Dennis Rodman's here. Go ahead. Who's that? Who's, Who's that? that? I know you're kidding. Come on. I've been in operation, let's say, like uh, three, like maybe two months back. Oh, really? Yeah, well, what, what did you want to say to Dennis Rodman? You you want to sing with me? You want to sing with him? Do you want to sing with sing. Joe Frazier? <laughs> I know who this is. But I know who no, this no, is. No, no, this is Joe Frazier. Oh, it's Joe Frazier. It's Joe Frazier, sing with you. What, last what, what Joe do you want to sing? Go ahead. I, I pray this. I pray this, Joe. Joe, when you uh, try to sing at uh, my uh, my agent's wedding, you, yes. I, I was like, what in the hell are you singing? He is a singer. <laughs> what the hell are you singing? I've been going Joe, to take you, the mic over. Joe, you have a singing career. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead and sing something. Mustang Sally. <laughs> Mustang Sally. <laughs> Wait, you can hear you. <laughs> you better slow that Mustang down. Right, Hold up. Yeah. What I'm trying to tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> was this like it was at the wedding? Oh, boy, it was a little worse than that. <laughs> you sound great, Joe. Yeah. Oh, now we can't stop him. I, I feel funny hanging up on him. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Uh, come on, All baby. right, Joe. Hey, thank you. You want to sing with me? <laughs> sure, I'll sing with you. I bought you a brand new, new Mustang. Mustang. All you gonna do is ride, <laughs> Sally, ride. Oh, wow. I guess I put you <laughs> <all right. laughs> I, I don't know the lyrics. Yeah. You know them? <laughs> I don't even Sing with them, for Christ's sake, will you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Mustang Sally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gonna, so, what kind of music are you into? Yeah, I'm listening to rock and roll, brother. Yeah, Mustang Sally's an old one, man. Uh, old one. All right, one last question, question for uh, Dennis Rodman. He's a great guy to party with. If you really want to, if you want to really get crazy tonight, big birthday party tonight at headquarters, Gentlemen's Club in Manhattan. You go to DennisRodman.com. You can find out what Dennis is up to. He's got a lot of things happening. And uh, you can actually party with the man. I mean, can people? Do you hide behind some rope, or people can actually hang with you? I can hang with me and stuff like that. Yeah. But I do want to say something. How you know? Um, out of any Hall of Fame, any Hall of Fame, any sports division is hockey, baseball, soccer. This, this, this. This, this is gonna probably be the biggest and the best Hall of Fame ever. Because yeah. I'm gonna make it more like a circus. <laughs> oh no! Uh -oh. Like what are you a, gonna do? I'm gonna do it like a more like a circus. Just give people, just be interesting. Instead of having 500 people out there, yeah, I wanna have like 5,000 people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a parade. Well, uh, you better just calm down and just accept your award. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna, it'll probably be the best Hall of Fame ever. Listen, this Hall of Fame could also translate to a whole new Dennis Rodman. More respect. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, this, this is what you know. I can do that easy. But I'm just saying, those for the entertainment for the kids outside. Yeah. That's what I'm doing it for. Well, all right, for okay. the kids. I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. I, 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 I got some things going on. That's what the <laughs> fuck you're gonna do for those kids? I got, some, I got a lot of things going on. Uh, the, something tells me this Hall of Fame they're gonna so, be very run sorry. Run by somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to those guys <laughs> in the green room. No, don't, don't forget. Don't forget that hotel.com thing either. What is that? What's that? You ain't heard about that? No, I don't have that plug. What is that? You got the plug? I thought you had the plug. Oh, no. my God. There's two Your guys team. Back there. Hey, my team back there is slacking. Uh, <laughs> Steve, go ahead. Uh, ask a question, and then maybe I'll get a plug for whatever Dennis is talking about here. Go ahead. Hey, now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dennis, this is, uh, this is a great honor. I, I started playing ball because of you. Um, there's a picture online. Oh, it's God. about 10 years old of you with Cindy Crawford in the bikini, and you're right. wearing nothing but skivvies. Right. Did you, uh, did you have sex with her back in the day? Did you ever have sex with Cindy Crawford? Uh, you know, I, we, we had an arrangement back then when she was, like, really cool. Uh, that was in, uh, we played Sierra in 1998, uh, 1997, 98, and we did an MTV thing. And we, she asked me to put on these bathing suits, you know, yes. these skimmies and stuff like that. I remember. And I talked, to, I talked to her about dating me. And she said, Dennis, you know, we went out a couple of times, but other than that, she said, I can't date you, you're just too wild for me. <laughs> you know, and, and McCarthy said the same thing. Jenny Back McCarthy? She said, Jenny, Jenny McCarthy said you're too wild. wild. Too wild for me. So Cindy never fucked you is what you're saying? Well, I, I, we kissed a couple of times, but then that, that's, uh, I, I can't lie about that. I, can't, I wish I would love to say I screwed the shit. Did you her up? Right, I, you, made I, her out, you made out with well, her. I, well, yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, you got to tongue her? <laughs> nah, it was more like that. It was, no. more, it was cool. Feel her up a little bit? She, she's, no, she's cool. She's you get cool any teddy off her? 
Nah, no. man, it wasn't like that. No, it was like, we was cool, man. All right, she got she got a better man now. Dennis <laughs> says, uh, yeah. Dennis yeah. says uh, he did not fuck Cindy Crawford, no. unfortunately. No. Yeah, what is it, Gary? What is this plug? It's uh, called Trip. You go go to tripyourface.com. Tripyourface.com. Yeah, trip your it has something to do with hotels.com, and you can upload yourself and be in a video commercial with Dennis. Dennis Rodman, right. yeah, very nice. Yeah. All right, let's go to Glenn. Glenn, go ahead. You're on the air. Last question for Dennis Rodman. We'll let him get out of here so he can get ready for his appearance tonight at a strip club. I think he needs to rest up. Yeah. yeah. He, yeah, but listen, you want, him, you want him in top form, don't you? No shit, right? No <laughs> shit. Dennis is going to be sprawled out on the couch getting a lap dance. Uh, I think I think he doesn't be, need to rest I'm up. I'm going to be my friend in the green room. He's going to be there with a couple of girls getting his cocks up. Glenn, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. This is Glenn. Um, I want to come to the defense of, of Mr. Humble Dennis Rodman. At, at the beginning of the interview, you, you kept focusing in on how he wasn't a hard worker. And no, I said people criticize him for that. Right. And the, the, the opposite is true. He would sit and study the tapes. I think beyond studying and tapes, Howard, uh, Dennis was known, and anybody that would that had watched basketball and watched Dennis play knew that Dennis was probably the hardest working man in the NBA. He was not just a rebounder; he was a tenacious defender. And I can't, I've never heard anybody say that Dennis wasn't a hard worker. He's crazy. Uh, that, well, crazy that's why I was defending worker. him, but, absolutely. But, 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 but I'm saying that you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have sit there and said that's why I say a lot of people, and this and it's a story. It's a story how that that you that a lot of people don't know this, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this out of here because you know I, this has really been bothering me for years and years. Good. You know, in 1998 when we won the last championship for Chicago Bulls, and when Michael and everybody said, "Well, you know, this is our last year," and the next season came, it was, it was the it was the uh, it was the um, lockout season. It was a half season, like 55 games that year. Right. And we. Um, Michael was Michael wasn't there, but it was amazing uh, that whole that whole team that came back. Only one person didn't have a job. You, I was the only guy that didn't have a job at the Chicago Bulls. They didn't bring me back, mm. and no team didn't even call me. No team. Why wow. do you think that is? Because of one reason, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael. Jordan, I think people say, "Well, Dennis Rodman is hiding behind the Chicago Bulls because all these wild antics and things that he does off the court, stuff like that." Why do you think team. Michael Jordan? Didn't uh, he brought back the whole team, but not you? Do you think he was a jealous of you, or b he just couldn't stand your guts? No, no, it was it wasn't. I, I was just. Man, I, I, or is he a I, racist? Well, I, I said it wrong. I said it wrong. I didn't say because Michael, Michael wasn't there. No, my, Michael mm-hmm. wasn't there. Right, Michael wasn't there, and that way oh. I think if Michael would have been there, he would have brought you back. No, it, it had no choice because we'd had the team back, and we could have won a fourth championship in a row. But you know, Michael, Michael left. So who didn't bring you back? I, I guess the, I, I said the system. The system. The system. Because Why? After, that, after, Why? after that, I went to the Lake. I went to the Lakers. Uh, Jerry Bush came and got me at a, at a, at Rue Chris. I was sitting there. He brought about five of his girls down. Yeah, but know, wait a second. Why do you think? Oh, he brought girls to entice you to come play. Well, he, it's, that's a good story, but I go go do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Say the owner of the Lakers. <laughs> that's a good story. Brought you women in order to get you to sign. No, that's, that's Jerry Bush. That's why. I, that's why I say if I had a father, one, one of the guys. I think one. There's three guys I would love to. If I had a, a father figure, it'd be Phil Jackson. Uh, Chuck Daly and uh, Jerry Buzz. Do you think the, you turned these guys into a father in a sense? Did you look up to them like and oh want them God, to treat I, you like a son? I, I, no, I wasn't that. I just respect the way they they looked at me and said, "Wow, well, you know, we're not gonna characterize you as, as this, this 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 dumb screwball, this alcoholic, this dumb dumb, this this this." We look at you. But you're a hard worker. We know you. We know some of the situation you're going through, and you're gonna work out of it. And they still, and these guys, they just actually believe in me. Do you think that's why you were a bad father? Because you didn't have any role model to teach you how to be a good father? No, because I, I think that you know, over the time uh, when I had my first kid, I think that really, I think that really screwed me up because um, my so-called wife took my kid and ran away and took all my money out the bank, and I just I became this vindictive asshole because I was like, wait a minute, hold on, I worked my asshole to get to this point, and she's going to take my kid and go across country and take all my money, and I said, well, fuck this, I got I to gotta go do something with my life because, you know, if I, if I keep my life in this direction as far as, like, you know, self-destructing, putting guns in my head and stuff like that, mm. I ain't going to be here long, so I just I, 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 I went a different direction, and I think that really right there, just, just Sounds like you shut mm. down in a way. You just kind of said, fuck it, I, I, I shut down completely. I was in my yeah. house for a month, and he thought I was suicidal. I had cops outside of my house. I had cameras and everything. Because your wife took your kid away. Yeah, because I never went through nothing like that in my life. At 30 years old, I couldn't believe that happened to me. And I thought, you know, when I was coming out of Oklahoma, it was supposed to be a family, a family, a family. And the next thing you know, the pistons started to disperse. Chuck left. I mean, Isaiah left. I mean, everybody started leaving. And I was there. I said, screw this. You working on being a good dad now? 
I'm trying to be a good dad. Do you know your kids at all? I mean, like, that's what I, I just told you. I was with them last week. If I said to you, what, what is your kid's birthday? Would you know? Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Easy. You're not testing. Hey, listen, we got, I'm not going to test you on that one. No. <laughs> Muhammad yeah. Ali is on the phone once to say oh, hello to you. God. Yeah. Yes, Muhammad. Yeah, okay. Now, we got to really, you can really reach <laughs> yeah. it out. Yeah, Muhammad, you can really reach it. Hello? Hi. Did you tell you were caught? In a ball style loom. Yes. Ball <laughs> Boy, Let me so tell you easy. something. He did work <laughs> hard. He says he worked hard. <laughs> you <some> Say, <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. I oh. back and did my thing All right. about you. We feel the same way. All right. Well, listen, Dennis Rodman, it's yeah, always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, come on tonight, brother. Well, anyway, I got to ask you this. I forgot sure. to ask you. Uh, I would love, literally love Howard, you know, because you don't ever do anything for me besides put me a fucking radio show. Uh, I would love you to come to, to the Hall of Fame. Really? I would love you to come to the Hall of Fame. So I think it's on a Friday, Friday or Saturday night. And I'm where big, is it? Springfield. Springfield? Do you have to take a plane to get to Springfield? How, I think you got enough fucking money. You can get it's not the money. <laughs> it ain't the uh, money. He's afraid <laughs> to fly. I hate flying, man. Well, you can, you can drive. Oh, it's only in Massachusetts. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, Massachusetts. Probably, it's probably like a two and a half hour ride. Oh, yeah. drive, shit. You oh, I'll level, drive. Take a car, there. shit. I'm just saying, I would love you to come. And Thank just, you. I well, that's you an know, honor. Just ask. Don't mean I'm going, but I would like to be there. I mean, I support you. And and I. I. by the way, congratulations on a great honor. Thank you, I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. You know, I go to basketball games. I love to watch the basketball here in New York. Right. And you I never see, saw Dennis play live. I never did. And, yeah. and I'll tell you what. You never saw me. And I, I, I was here a long time ago, too. I'll tell you what. I wish I, wish I had because, uh, <laughs> A, not only were you one of the greatest, but also because, uh, you know, to see a great team and to see a great oh, yeah. player is really the most unbelievable thing. And it is no easy accomplishment to get to the top of the top. And Look. congratulations, and good for you, man. Thank you, Seriously. Brother. Thank I, you, brother. I'm very, very happy for well, you. Well, think about that. If you can't come, how about Robin? Oh, Robin will be there. I might do it. I mean, just come. Well, she'd just come. go. Just yeah. come. It's, right. it's a great it's a great. She's on fire. There. She'll go anywhere. <laughs> All right, she's been doing the, the, what's with the view of uh, Good Morning America you was on. Oh, she'll do whatever she. Oh. This, she was, uh, you was on something. I'm like, God damn. You know, she went to. She, she went to. She worked. She worked all this. She worked thirty something years to be on a fucking View. Tell, <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell, tell, she, she tell Dennis that view. drug you did. Uh, yeah. Oh, ayahuasca. He doesn't know anything about. Uh, oh, he, he couldn't even handle that. <laughs> but it was she was shitting and vomiting, and then she was hallucinating for four or five hours. <laughs> what was this at? Uh, in you, Peru. In Peru. In Peru. What was, what was With Peru a shaman. At? A shaman. Oh, really? A witch doctor. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And she was farting in his face and. Shitting on oh, stop it. Uh, Don't ask what was going on, man. Hardcore. Um, let me tell you. All right. Uh, listen, uh, the, the big party tonight over at uh, headquarters, great place uh, with Big John and Dennis Rodman. Uh, it's a gentleman's club here in Manhattan. You go see Dennis Rodman. Go to DennisRodman.com if you need details on any of Dennis's uh, upcoming events. I got to plug it in. I got to plug in Frank from Ocean Manor, brother. Yeah. Frank, yeah. You got to plug in all the guys. And check out Dennis Robin <laughs> at tripyourface.com. Right on, brother. All right. Hey, great seeing you. Cool, brother. And congratulations Anytime. and good luck with everything. Thank you, brother. Oh, man. Well, congratulations. I think it's great. Yeah, that's I think great. It's great. Really it's cool. happy. It's so you. nice that you're being recognized. So you look good. You've been taking okay. care of yourself. Yeah. Take care, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks for everything. Yeah. Always love when you come in. Dennis, but, yeah. got to speak to a lot of legendary right, figures right, in the world of boxing today. <laughs> man, come on, I know who that was. <laughs> Don't give me that crap. Sir. That wasn't Muhammad Ali. That, oh, you kidding? that wasn't even Joe Frazier. <laughs> no, it was Joe. It was Joe. Yeah, it was but Joe. I, but uh, Leon Spinks. Leon Spinks. That 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 You've done this, this show too many times to get a little bit of I know. I know who that was. I don't even know whatever the fuck his name is. But uh, like I said, I love Howard. Howard's cool as shit, man. You know, he's always respecting me. He's, you know, and he, He's always trying to give me opportunities to do what I gotta do to, to do some cool stuff around the world. And uh, like I said, it's a great outlet. And uh, what can I say bad about him over all these years? Today's appearance was a lot about your accomplishments and, right. and how great of a career you really did have. Do you see a lot of similarities with Howard the way he's often not recognized for how great he is? It's almost for his antics and for other things. Well, Howard, Howard don't want to go on the radio Hall of Fame. Are you kidding me? I just heard that today. He think that shit's too fucking like. 
you know, like his style. He wants to go on like the Smithsonian. That's what he wants to do. That's way better to accomplish than anything in the world. But uh, I'm pretty sure he'll have a statue when he dies. <laughs> Shit, he'll have a statue somewhere. You feel he'll be recognized? Oh my God! Yeah, soon like he'll be recognized, probably an Academy of Music or Academy Award. I mean, you know, Oscars or something like that. He'll be, he'll be recognized. He deserve it. He put in a lot of hard work. Cool, man.